right behind me is my compact uh, HDP production factory. The reason I'm making this video is because I showed off this design or something similar to this design in my uh, All the Mods 9 Survival Let's Play and I got a comment um, saying uh, asking for me to break it down. So here we go. It starts off with this melon um, hyper box. We have a bunch of melon hopper botany bots all going into cables all going into this bottom aperture. Pop back out again. Those, mel those melons, sorry, are going out of the top or out of the bottom of this hyper box and into this crusher with max speed and energy upgrades producing biofuel, which is then pulled into this pressurized reaction chamber through this logistical cable. In this pressurized reaction chamber, I have water coming from this water block here, and I have hydrogen from this electrolytic separator. This electrolytic separator is also taking in water to split it up into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen is being pulled into here to create substrate. The oxygen is being pulled through an import bus and is being stored in this tank right here. So as you can see, we've got the storage bus set to oxygen and inside we've got it set to input output. Above the um, pressurized reaction chamber, so we, if we go inside, we have items set to output and auto eject. That will auto eject the substrate into this drawer right here, which has a storage bus on it. If we go up a little bit, we have a this one right here, this is a pressurized reaction chamber. So this um, pressurized reaction chamber creates substrate and ethylene. So the substrate goes into here, the ethylene goes into this import bus, which is set to only allow ethylene in, and that uh, ethylene is stored in this chemical tank here. That eth The ethylene, the substrate, and the oxygen are pumped out through the front. So we've got the front set to input and the gas set to input as well. It, and I've got it set to round robin as well, so it'll go through in order. So it'll uh, export a oxygen and it'll, sorry, export oxygen and ethylene. Sorry, no, that's a lie. Uh, I actually need to get rid of that because I've got a different way of setting it up. So we can actually delete that. Sorry, that's my bad. So the ethylene is actually going into here, this rotary concentrator to create liquid ethylene. That's being pulled out the side and into the side of the pressurized reaction chamber through this mechanical pipe. So we actually don't need to input ethylene, only oxygen is the only thing that needs to be imported because you have substrate coming in from the bottom. Um, oh, sorry, we don't have substrate coming in. We've got the storage bus on here. So the export bus pulls the substrate from here and places it into the pressurized reaction chamber. Right here is where we have our finished product. But before we get into that, we have a drawer here that's pulling uh, HDPE pellets into this enrichment chamber, which also has max speed energy upgrades. And that's creating HDPE sheets, which are being pulled into here with the storage bus on it. This is all using only a few channels. Uh, let me see how many in total. Eight channels. So this can all fit on one smart cable because we've got uh, three storage bus, no, four storage buses and four export slash import buses. So we've got three storage buses on here, as you can see, one and then two, three. And then we have an export bus and then we have a storage bus there, an export bus here, and then an import bus on there, and then another one here. Yes, yeah, so that's eight in total. So to go through it again, melon comes through here and into there, it's crushed, placed into this pressurized reaction chamber. This pressurized reaction chamber uses water plus hydrogen from this electrolytic separator to create substrate. That um, oxygen is stored. Sorry, the sorry, the hydrogen goes into here. The oxygen is stored into this chemical tank via a import bus. The oxygen and the substrate go into here to create, oh sorry, sorry, the this one produces substrate and ethylene. The ethylene goes into here to create liquid ethylene which gets pumped into here. The oxygen and the substrate go into here to create HDB, HDPE pellets and they are pulled from the back and into this enrichment chamber to create HDPE sheets which then goes onto here. So this is hooked up to my main ME system, so if we have a look here, HD. No, HDPE. We've got all of our HDPE stored on the storage bus. You can also set the drawers to lock if you'd like. So for example, I would lock this drawer because there's stuff going in and out of it constantly. So I would lock it to HDPE just because, or to the pellets, sorry, just because if you have this hooked up to a wider ME system and you put an item in and it chooses this drawer as storage place, then it's gonna just dump the items in. I'd re recommend locking all three drawers to be honest. But I think this one has, yeah, this one also probably need locking because it's got subtract coming in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. It like never builds up. 
Every single one of these machines has a speed and energy upgrade and every single export and import bus has an acceleration card. So if we have a look in here, we currently are making one every few seconds, which for HDPE sheets, we don't really need that many, uh, to be honest. You didn't, wouldn't even have to leave this running for that long. Um, and then you could just choose to turn it off. Um, I've also got for this machine and this machine, I'm using a, or these two, I'm using flux points. So the bottom ones, they have universal cables running in, but I wanted this to be compact. So I actually have a another flux plug here on this energy cube. The energy cube is set to in, oh, top is output, sorry. And then if we go back up here, uh, the flux points are set to the same network as the flux plug, and then they output to the machines as they become empty. So that way it's a bit more compact. Otherwise you have universal cables running up all the sides. I tried to fit as much of this into a three by three as possible. The only issue is getting the um, the water into this pressurized reaction chamber because we can't just chuck another chemical tank on um, because we do have the import bus. However, um, I don't think you can output both to the same location. Plus we have used up eight channels already. So I need to take this water and I need to move it into here somewhat efficiently. So I guess, oh, uh, nah, this would be the only design because every other side is being used. So the top's being used, this side's being used, this side's being used, the bottom's being used for energy. The only side it can come in is this one right here for water. Unfortunately, there's no other way. But on the whole, apart from that little sticky outy bit, it is extremely compact. It fits mostly into a three by three space and it'll produce all the HGPE sheets that you need. If you have any further questions regarding this design or uh, any future requests for more compact designs for mechanism setups, feel free to let me know in the comment section and I'll try and do a video on it. In the meantime, um, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe. Um, we're nearly at 500, which is something I never thought would happen. Uh, in a million years and I, I really appreciate the support everyone's been leaving on the channel recently so if you'd like to subscribe if not that's absolutely fine i hope this system uh, helps you guys out thank you guys very much for watching and have a fantastic rest of your day